Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. CatholicUnderground.com, the podcast about our Catholic faith and new media. And DFWCatholic.org, spreading the truth one city at a time. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Michael Voris filling in for Vic Faust, who's on assignment today. A special edition, part of our continuing coverage of the scandal at the U.S. Bishops' Conference. The scandal-plagued Bishops' Conference is facing a whole new round of charges that it is betraying the faith of ordinary Catholics. This weekend, the Catholic Social Ministry Conference is being held in Washington, D.C., just down the street from the Bishops' Conference. The U.S. US Bishops' Conference is, in fact, the host organization. One of the key speakers is Diana Hayes, a theology professor at Georgetown University and a prominent homosexuality activist, a proponent of liberation theology, which has been condemned by the Vatican, an advocate for women's ordination, and a proponent of so-called same-sex marriage. All three of the issues she has made a name for herself supporting homosexuality, women's ordination, and liberation theology have all been condemned by the Vatican repeatedly. Yet, the U.S. Bishops' Conference continues to invite Hayes and people like her to be headline speakers. It is also customary to pay speakers at such conferences thousands of dollars. So, once again, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops is doling out money from faithful Catholics to individuals who directly contradict church teaching. And moreover, in this case, the speakers are making their presentations at a conference actually sponsored by the bishops. Now, RealCatholicTV.com is following events at this conference very closely this weekend, and as are a number of other media organizations, we will keep you posted as soon as we become aware of information. Stay tuned for more in the coming days as more and more information comes to the surface. I'm Michael Voris. Thanks for being with us. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure and check out the Vortex today where we share some thoughts on what has happened to the church in America since the USCCB rose to prominence. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please be sure and tell your friends about us. God bless you. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective.